he often imagines what might be possible, the horizon of ideas and solidarities. Idea number 345.782, in the shower this morning, 6 a.m., getting into gear, 8.20 a.m. flight, TXL to BGO, don't forget to write to dot, dot, dot. Keep a journal where every entry is made on flights, daydreams spinning out of control at 30,000 feet above that vast ocean, fear of flying, heart racing, those beautiful mountains suddenly. Might be the basis for project in Marrakesh. Must write to dot, dot, dot. Where's that budget? Or for notions of the imaginary republic. Application deadline, research St. Louis. What are the central questions looming these days around the future republic? Democratic crisis, utopian community, Amish, must research furniture, architectures of liberation or incarceration, Genet. Ecological theory, permaculture, ask Jay. And what if cognitive capitalism have to pick up the dry cleaning? Or what Warren told me the other day, studio visit, rain outside, bad coffee, charming eyes, of the psychopathologies of the creative workforce. Freud made me think of Blanchot's writing the disaster. Could be the basis for a future seminar. Be sure and talk to Pierre Sandra, out of shaving cream. Slow down, the morning suddenly dips. I hear the neighbor playing guitar. Slow Spanish blues, Django, Miles, I wonder where Brian is these days, he thinks. Those forgotten years still underneath like a bed of dreams, impressions, wishes behind the eyes, in these impulses that shiver the body. What I might call the feverish drive of creativity, something about primary animation, haunted ideas, the missing. Lacan, of course. She told me there's no possibility to receive the cover files from the designer. More work to do. Dissatisfaction, <coughs> trembling heart, restless emails, the ceaseless and relentless reminder of all still left hanging. Under the skin, on the skin, and in the breath. Burrows. The virus is no longer in the word, but the anticipation of expected correspondence. Cellular, deep unease, perennial connection. I'm available. Make a banner. I'm tired of efflux. You really must get an iPhone, she says. The woman sits across from me, tapping on her pad. Oh, but I really must know, send, this, connect, access, download, post, state the status. The only radical gesture left these days is to not respond, to be uninformed. Letters of recommendation, interviews, committees, evaluation, the production of new ideas and hopes. Can you send me your abstract? Must get to the studio. What about those drawings and love, the creative imagination that ticks away like a pulse? I can't sit still, give me a pen, scrap, any scrap will do. <coughs> Idea number 345783, Hobo College as war machine. Have to write back to Adi, would be great to visit Israel again to confront the conditions of the inexplicable. Itinerant knowledge, I don't know, it's an idea, came to me like a flash. Out of nowhere, no, like a slow unfurling ribbon picked up by the breeze, the wind of inspiration. To float across the gray sky, more guitar, have to take out the laundry. Notes to oneself, R.D. Lang, 1950 psychology, what's gone missing? Email, dot, dot, dot. All those PDFs unread, but still on the desktop, like a nagging horizon, a pressure of knowledge production, the will to know. As the plane takes off, he sits back and he thinks. We must unsettle the patterns embedded in what's called contemporary critical practice and that seeps into the imagination like a belief system to which we follow and subscribe. And then Foucault, how sinister is the voice that directs one toward particular behaviors and still the impulse remains to know how much to produce, for whom, 
to labor on the field of culture toward what end? He turns to me and says, all the dysfunctional kids went to art school. Failure, the inept, to be unable, must research Chaplin and the figure of the clown, escape, peripheries, laughter. What did Irigore say? We must remember how to laugh. <coughs> the news continues, Syria. Footsteps outside, early evening, the mind drums. Idea number 345.784, history of loneliness. Chapters devoted to states of lethargy, alienation, vacancy, the silence of those Flemish paintings might function as a series of compositions. Amazing how music and loneliness are so connected. The blues, daydreams, scribbles, the formulation of new writing. Second edition in the works, have to figure out the proposal to sell SLG, thinking about the question of the home. I like this. It situates itself in the fibers of the body to stimulate various impulses, reassuring ticks, a trickle of affirming nods. Yes, maybe that's it. Is not the aim of the project always toward a future assembly, the reshaping of all this that holds us now? Voices outside, sounds like dot, dot, dot. Does E come back tonight? The minutes tick by. Tap, tap. Was thinking more about that script. Objects? Should the table be vertical or horizontal at that point? Should return to bachelor always strikes me as a resource, particularly in terms of the combination of scientific thought with the poetics of the imagination. Writing is a festival of knowledge. What a fucking phrase. <laughs> Martha Rosler stands up and says, my friends and I became artists in the late 60s because we didn't want to have a career, and now I have one. What happened? <laughs> He realizes this is what he wanted to start with, the creative imagination as a festival of knowledge, the vibrancy and the joyous, the riotous and the carnivalesque, the fragile and the wishing and the wanting, which is always a form of trespass, precisely, and then into what he wanted to call the impossible practice, George Bataille, the impossible, precisely, the never-ending creative fever, feverish within today's regime of the aesthetic. Did you say something? I was distracted by the psychopathology of this capitalism. Quiver, tick, tick, then shiver from head to toe, to and fro, the robot in my mouth. Must consider the figure of the conscientious objector, civil rights trail in Virginia. Visit June, MLK. Think about Memphis. I was born in Memphis. Biography as starting point, band of gypsies, Jimmy and black power, the imagination and the impossible, must work on. Reading about the history of the hobos, consider the phrase, you lazy bum, must develop a project on laziness, though isn't that a contradiction? Hesitation, questions, and then surrendering precisely to what feels uncertain, uncertain research, seminar on uncertain practices, could be good, the hesitation, the crisis, the questioning, doing nothing, or what Isabel Stangers calls hesitating practices, to formulate a series of strategies for resisting the impulse, the inclination, the imperative, which directs us toward knowing already beforehand the outcome to being so sure. Instead, a catalog for the promotion of a lazy society, a hesitating society, or at least a deepening of the knowledge found at the center of uncertainty and the impossible. Is not always art in conversation with the impossible, the wishing, the weakness, falling asleep at the computer. My friend used to say, people like going out, but I like going in. Have to send him a note. Distance, distraction, despondency, disastrous, diet, dilemma, desire, drunkenness, delirium. Never thought D could be so interesting. A litany of dramas found in a single letter. The madness of language, precisely. Must pick up that Danny Carms book. Margaret always talked about him. Wonder where he's buried. So much in a single idea. <laughs> idea number 345.785, the Danny Carms school of laziness doing nothing in the production of an inactive methodology. She says, it felt like I was pulled in two directions. One, the articulation of the project, and the other, the creative impulse, and that in order to make art, it was impossible to participate in the structure of the project. 
tension, friction, negotiation, and then he thinks the instrumentalization of this body, a type of impossible practice. What did Bifo say? Have to find that quote. To go on strike against the general ethos that rivets us to that drive toward professionalization, or to ask, why work? Love that film about a boy where Hugh Grant does nothing. Beautiful. <laughs> California dreaming, Jeff Spicoli for president, the flood of information, read the other day how multitasking has been shown to produce a certain stimulus in body pleasure, the sense of fulfillment found in doing everything at once, while in fact it reduces the capacity for deep knowledge, deep intimacy, deep time, deep listening, Jean-Luc Nancy, resonance as the opening up and the coming together, the echo toward the other and back again, must think about listening, how it requires time, slow time, the time of attention to counter the politics and the pressures placed upon our senses. The new marketplace found there on the plane of attention. Can we buy and sell attention? Research, ambient commons. Might not the space of coming together form an alternative attention? To dwell upon the body of an impossible knowledge, to share a time of slowness, only if we could to give time for a certain trajectory of development, discourse, exchange, debate, reflection, fantasy, making and doing, together and apart. Creative workers unite in play or written out in tapestry, textile, clothes, banner, banner project, ongoing, cardboard and markers, don't think I can paint anymore, would need an existential crisis that thrust of primary expression, heated, feverish, suicidal, what would Richter say? Have to look at Sheila again. Munich, 1988, summer journeys away from home, walking through the night, the city, and the lonely thought. Those figures, those lines, so much in a line. Vienna, no, standing still. Neck ache, wrist ache, staring. That zone of dizzying agitation propelled by the suppleness of the hand. Magic tricks, the rabbit down the hole. Want to come? No more coffee. Get up, have to dash, split the scene, hit the road to Chicago, the big chi, tracing the lines of the hobo, culture on the margins. The main point, Ben Reitman and the radical labor movement, Haymarket, Hull House, Hobo College, along North Clark Street, searching for the remains of Brandt Hall, where the industrial workers of the world launched in 1905 finding only Dunkin' Donuts, Starbucks, Walgreens, and the construction of new apartments that tower up into the early fog. Take a photo, take another video camera in one pocket, camera in the other, microphone taped to my hat, searching, tracing, identifying, missing, capturing a line that becomes a time media, that becomes a narrative of what was and what could still be and what went missing and what ghosts the present. The psychopathologies of capital, write that down. The repressiveness of a certain socioeconomic model, memoirs of a good for nothing, reading over the holidays. What about Eugene Debs, library, biography, then over to Randolph Street looking for the Haymarket Memorial, brutal, script of a disappeared solidarity. What about Beckett, the cooperative commonwealth, the man of conscience that mutters under his breath, not I. What right do I have to the benefit from the privileges of wealth while others lie in the gutter? And then he returns, walks out the door. Which route can we take? Which avenue might lead to a new type of gathering, the square of civic life, the quiet winter hills, the trees that endure? As Morud Barghouti suggests, the square and the trees, two images together, the environmental perspective. If we take care of the animals and the trees, might we finally take care of each other? Within which the nation state is suddenly a singular entity within a greater whole. Turn left and the street carries forward all the daydreams of a meandering step, cold against the legs, in the hands, under the collar, the winter bends, thoughts toward those books full of palm trees, smiles of forgotten friends, travels into dry fields, the fennel bushes dusting the eyes that trickle with youthful visions. I always come back to those paths, those bushes, and Brian walking ahead. What did he see as the fog swept in from the ocean? Book project, memories of first walks, Rousseau, lazy days that are always so close to creativity. O oh, laziness, mother of the arts and the noble virtues, be thou balsam for the pains of mankind. Lazy management, California style. Lazy classrooms, sleep sessions, dream therapy, sleep concerts. 
Air Berlin, AB7462, ORD to PIT via Cincinnati, WKRP, the Riverside Coliseum, disaster of 1979, the Who concert, a series of works on concert disasters. Number one, The Cure, 1987, Inglewood, Michelle crying in her gold dress, guy with a knife and the band comes on with red stained shirts, Gothic style, they found a suicide note in his car, and Michelle says she needs to go. We walk through the trees and the fog, and even now the fennel bushes are shedding their night aromas into the sea air. Maps of Martinique, Israel, Pennsylvania, three coordinates within the imagination, each veering into different directions and locations, and each overlapping, a ghost map of poetic thought, utopia, the impossible as the production of an associative knowledge, bodies on the run, together, thinking this way and then that way, synthesis, the desire to be somewhere, simultaneity, montage, theories of association, glissant, hirshhorn, and each containing a radical potential, lines of flight, escape routes, journey to the heart of darkness, dizzy spell, purple haze, drift and distraction, and a new figure of conscience, the imaginary republic, no, the power of the weak. Oh man, books under the arm, TV on, laughter downstairs in the winter sky, black is black, slow thoughts that start to demand more, searching for their momentum, searching for their night and the assemblage of languages, for new points of contact, those that rise with new energy and then collapse into sketches of animals, animal studies, black velvet paintings, day glow colors. Did you get your passport visa? That'll be 225 euro and see you in two years. Red stamps, blue stamps, waiting in line, always a line, a line searching for its own errancy, its force of imagination, its body. Blues, delays in CPH, please take a number. Must get to San Juan this year. Caracas, talk to Marco, Montevideo, Arcosanti, more James Joyce. No, Boal, to teach is founded upon love. New Year's resolutions, to take time for another type of work. Must exercise more, the work of relations. Housing, I know this is already a theme. Make a list, houses lived in, houses visited, housing estates, houses for sale, houses of refuge, houses of love. Public housing, Detroit, must get to, writing house, the powerhouse project, what Jim talked about over cheesecake, and my aunt crying and laughing. My grandmother's house is empty, must photograph. We used to have parties in empty houses, quiet parties, quiet talk in empty rooms, kissing in the dark, seals in the distance, friends, a history of friends. Must get back to LA, so much, so much. The blue fog, the deep night, the longing and the dreaming, quiet images opening up, blossoming, the deep pulse of the creative spirit, the angst, the frustration and the desire for more, for solidarity and for generosity, for the gift, poetry, always. Brian, where are you? Not sure what to say, reading and overreading, the silence suddenly there in the studio and nothing, nothing, no thing, and only the drive, the wish for what may still come. Pleasure, no freedom, precisely. What do we do with our freedom? To give it away, civic duty to others, and that horizon of a future society. A friend says, we must make work not for the king, but for God. Steps outside, frantic against the sudden wind, loss of sleep, did he give me directions? Sleepwalking project, materials, always comes down to materials, expressions, a thrust of ideas brought into form, the form speaks, Cardboard, tape, pens, metal, black on black, no performance. Such an essential approach, always returning to the body in space, in front of others, the point of relation between the real and the imaginary, always returning between the inside and the outside context, the creative economy, what rubbish. All on still the formation of an international association between the real and the imaginary, countermeasure, counter nation, resistance, spaces of hope, Algeria, the struggles of the creative class, the fevers of immaterial labor, cognitive heat, brain on fire, Albert Camus quote, to make art today is to create dangerously between realism and the imaginary, the essential point, the project of the artist, generative dissatisfaction, unsteady normality, the wild body, queering the political, thinking beyond, counter-narrative, soft attitude, 
capture the impossible. And then he says, let us announce the intersection of the radical imagination and the real, what might be called the all too real, ghosts, monsters, erotic nightmares, not only but the home of nimble ideas, a sanctuary for all that tries to enter and to appear, the migrant to be vulnerable. Rise up, Pete the Wanderer, Boxcar Betty, Jack the Mac, the Durango Kid, and Black Violet to storm the gates and set free the all too real. Proposals, speculations, a theory of the unwanted, precisely, could appear on a wall or in the newspaper as a broadcast. Capitalism and schizophrenia, oh yes, overworked or the work which sets us free. Speak up, can't hear you. Jurgis, Erwin, Eugene, maybe written on a wall. Here, here it is, a diary, no, a lyric. What did Smithson say? The deep earth, a song. Finally, are you ready? One, two, three, four. Thank you.